Hello everyone, and welcome back to another installment of the Fallout 4 series with commentary with your host Christophe Bedard, who is now in Acadia. And uh, basically where we left off last episode, looking for Katsuni. Kasumi. Kasumi. Kasumi Nakano. Sorry, I might have been a little upset there. Your parents sent me. Your parents sent me. They want you to come home. They, they did what? You came all this way for me. Went to some trouble, in fact. Took a walk through the fog to find you. Look, my mom and dad. Uh, I mean. Those people that were taking care of me, they wouldn't want me back. Not if they knew the truth. Well. The truth. I'm not their daughter. I'm a sin. Sorry. I thought if I just left, it would be easier for them. How would that conversation have gone anyway? I've been lying to you this whole time. Your real daughter is dead, and I replaced her? <sighs> yeah, she's confused. But I, there's no reason for me to tell her that. You haven't replaced anyone. Kenji and Ray are still your parents. I... I really wish that was true. If I wasn't a sin, things would be so much simpler. So I'm trying to convince her. Maybe it isn't what I thought it was. That she's not There's a sense. more going on here than just the refuge. But I can't leave until I've gotten to the bottom of it. I've been running long enough. If something's going on, then I can help. Just tell me what's happening. I don't know how you could. Wait. Wait, of course you can help. You find things. Track down answers. That's what you do, right? That's why you came after me. What if I told you that there's a secret? A big secret here on this island. Something way more important than just one lost girl. What is it? All right, I'm listening. Okay, where to begin? You saw all those computers that Dimas hooked up to, right? They hold his memories or offload data from his brain. Or maybe some combination of both? Well, Faraday asked me to help do some repairs on them. And, you know, I got curious. There's like a century's worth of life experiences in there. And that's when I see it. The data models Dima has been making. One was the fog taking over Far Harbor. Another was a nuclear detonation on the island. Plus, death counts. What if Dima is so open and welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us? Damn. I plan to wipe out the rest of the island. Dima turning on Far Harbor? Now that would be cause for concern. I'll help if I can, but that's not much to go on. I know. I've been working on that, but I haven't had much luck. I keep seeing Dima, Faraday, and Chase head into the laboratory at the other end of the hall. Then they come out later looking like they've been arguing. There's actually a storage space right next to there. It'd be a perfect spot to hide and eavesdrop, but it's been locked up. I've also tried breaking into Faraday's terminal, since he and Dima are so close, but security on it is crazy I'll talk to Dima if I just talk to Dima convince him that he needs to be honest with us all right good luck let me know what you find out whatever we find out I hope there's a way to make some caps out of it long fellow swear someone has the key to that storage room maybe Doc he's always moving supplies around to take them in okay I'll take a look. Every day is a struggle here. But at least we don't have to hide. Acadia is far away enough from the Institute that we don't have to worry, right? Yes, sir. Grab some Wonder Glue. A few good things in there.
good stuff. Master or master. Eh? Okay. Let's figure it out. Ah. There you go. Got it. No. <laughs> okay. Well, time for me to get back on the rocket launcher train. Quad launcher. That's crazy. Hey. Perfect, perfect. So much stuff. That's a master lock for you. And I got the... F no, the fat man's on... Uh oh, it's a good fat man, too. So I gotta remember... Please, guys, let me know in the comments about what Paladin Dance having the fat nuke, the fat man. Because uh, technically, that's. I mean, I'd, I'd like to try it. And this guy has an upgraded one, too, like a really good one. So that's something to keep in mind. As we continue looting this place, I drop my gun. I'm also just gonna wear this and then give this hey, guy go on. trade. You're the real alcoholic. So what I'll do? Give him all of this. That's what I thought it was made out of. I was curious. Nope. I want my shipment of wood back. And then... What I will give you... Is this. Cheer up, Buttercup. It's not all about uh, how much alcohol. You need to keep your body happy and uh, functioning. Eh? Long fella. Nope. Put that gun down, Crystal. Them, Jewel. Oh yeah, practically a five-star resort you got here. Okay, yeah, uh, sure. It's rough around the edges, but someday it'll be amazing. That's what you call you procrastination. Mind wipe. doesn't make it okay to be rude. Okay, sure. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know what's more. Damn, uh, Jewel is, uh, she's got an attitude. So because I'm, like, looting everything or something? I feel like that's unfair because I have the right to do so. Probably. Synths and humans will all get along someday. I just know it. You want to buy something? Look at how fancy. So what I gotta do is take off the glasses okay. yeah bro sure all right yeah take a look damn he was that's why he was talking to me uh, like this earlier I 
wolf meat. So all of that. Definitely that. That's a lot of fragmentation grenades. Should be using more of these. Can definitely sell some of these. There you go. And then this guy, what can he sell to me? No junk, I see. Only ammo. Hey, that's the one I was looking for. Okay, I'll buy it. Bit more than 400. Buy 100 bullets. So now if I find a lever gun, a pull lever, action lever, whatever these are, I just can't deal with social interactions, okay? uh, I'll be able to, to use it. Finally. Interestingly enough. But I still have to go see her. Okay. One day, I'm gonna get out there and see the rest of the world. Seems like somebody in there, maybe. Wanna buy something or what? And on the top floor, maybe. I'm just taking everything. Duct tape is good. Good, good. Duct tape. Okay. Let's go upstairs. Thought it's telling me to leave here. But then it's. Okay, so there's definitely one. The other one's there. Okay. Dima. Dima. Is there anything I can do? Kasumi says she's seen parts of your memories, death projections. Far Harbor and the center of the island. That's unfortunate. She should be focusing on herself, her new life. She shouldn't have to bear the burden of the outside world. Please, this is a matter best left to me and my advisors. We aren't planning to destroy the island. Those projections were merely to help us realize the cost of inaction. Sounds like a lot of fancy talk aimed at throwing us off the trail. Must mean we're on to something. That's the danger of wanting to know. Now, I'm getting sick of this whole noble leader bullshit for you, Dima. Now stop hiding and tell me the truth. All right, you've made your point. There's a conflict that's been brewing on this island shortly after we built Acadia. Between Far Harbor and the Children of Atom. Simply put, they want to kill each other. And each side wants us to help them. We've tried to stay neutral. But Far Harbor was going to be wiped out by the fog. So that's when we built the condensers for them. And I was friends with the previous leader of the Children of Atom, Confessor Martin. I even gave them their headquarters, the submarine base they named the Nucleus. Which was a mistake. Because Martin is gone and the new confessor, Tectus, is completely insane. He's been threatening us to force us to choose a side. I left behind something very important in that submarine base I gave them. Dima's earliest memories are stored in the military computer banks in that base. The pre-war security systems and Confessor Martin's goodwill were supposed to keep them safe. But now Tectus is in charge, and he's after Dima's memories. We don't even know what's in them. But we do know that I spent nearly a century on this island alone. Whatever's in there is too dangerous to allow Tectus to get his hands on them. You left your memories behind? How does that work? As a prototype synth, my raw data capacity is limited. I began using computer banks to expand to give me room to ponder, 
see new things. I had to leave some of my earliest memories behind when I left the sub-base to the Children of Adam. I thought they were safe. What can I do? So what can I do to help? If you're willing to retrieve what I've lost and bring my memories back to me, then we'd all be one step closer to solving this conflict without bloodshed. You'll have to get through the children of Adam's base. You're new on the island, so you might be able to pose as a recruit. Then, once you get to the memory banks, you'll have to use a special program Dima and I have been working on to break through the security systems. It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network. It'll consider you to be an intruder. I am an intruder. Program with some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. I'm on it. If we're lucky, the pre-war defenses have kept the children of Adam at bay. But that means you'll have to get past them yourself. One more thing before you leave. Whatever you do, don't assault the children of Adam directly. Okay. Our ultimate goal must be to bring peace. If you attack them, they'll consider themselves at war with the outside world. I've got no love for those mindless fanatics in the Midwest. I won't complain if it comes to violence. <laughs> Old Longfellow, this guy, man. Serious about it. Hey Faraday. Hi. What you do? So, you've talked to Dima. You know why we're here. And I certainly hope that you'll consider helping us. Dima's vision is worth fighting for. You're right. It is a good cause. Since definitely deserve to be saved, just like everyone else. It's so good to hear that. Very encouraging. Please make sure Dima knows that as well. He's put so much of himself into this. All his time and energy devoted to helping others. He never stops to think of himself. Sometimes I worry about... Well, if I wasn't here to make sure his equipment is all functional. And that's not even mentioning maintaining the fog condensers. So many things to keep track of. Seems like he's lucky to have you helping. Thank you. That's very kind. If there's anything I can do to help out, just let me know. Well, if you're determined to help, there is something you could do. It's likely somewhat dangerous, though, so I understand if you'd rather not. There's a boat along the coast of the island. It was transporting some hardware we needed. Storage drives. The boat never finished the trip, you see. So the drives are still out there. I could really use them here for extra parts, if nothing else. My understanding is that the boat wrecked southwest of here, so... Does this sound like something you could handle? What happened to the boat? Why didn't it make it? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Trappers, fog crawlers, there's no end to what's out there. And what might still be out there. But the point is that we already lost someone once. And I don't want to see that happen again. So, are you up for it? Sure thing, Faraday. I'll get the drives for you. And thank you. I really do appreciate it. Of course, bro. What's over there? Oh, an easy access to the other floor. There's okay. Here you go. Turns out, Dima's earliest memories are in the hands of the children of Adam. He's afraid of what they're going to find. So, is that what those death projections were about? It wasn't Dima planning to destroy the island. He's worried the children of Adam will. Or is he still hiding something? What could be in those memories that he would leave them behind? Is there really something in them that's dangerous? Do you have a way in? Into his memories? Assuming you can get past the children of Adam, of course. I got this program that Faraday and Dima wrote. 
supposed to help me access the memory banks. Really? How would that work? When I was taking a peek in the computers he has here, Dima was hooked up to his chair. I was just tapping into it. I wonder if you'll need to, you know, connect to the old banks the way he does? Some kind of connection between your head and the computer. Oh, but that's it. And then Faraday's program would be translating Dima's thoughts and data, helping you through any security guarding it. I'm sorry, I'm making assumptions. It's just, well, it's a little exciting, isn't it? You'll let me know what you find? I'll keep an eye on things here. If all I find in those memories is just a hundred years worth of Dima staring at a wall, I'm gonna be really annoyed. Well, if you did, that's almost good, right? That means they're harmless. Anyway, good luck. Thank you, Kasumi. Next step. Outside. Best left forgotten. Certain things are, in fact. If we are to speak of things in circular ways, self sustaining concepts, ideas. And laws, which are upheld in ways which are copied, reconstructed by the digital apparatus and the crystalline machine, screens, and so let us take a look. What does he want? Help Captain Avery. Okay. Get power tools. Eliminate the feral ghouls. Help the sense of Acadia. Okay. I got plenty of quests here. So let's... Uh, let's start with this. Get the ridge pass. Or... Going to talk to Avery. So let's go to back to Far Harbor. See if there's a a bench for work. What I don't like is that it is not my island. I've been the uh, side note. I've been reading the Divine Comedy lately, and it is quite funny. So let's see. Here you go, Captain Avery. Come here. You think the fog's bad during the day? I'll be straight with you. It's never easy to ask anyone on this island for help, much less a stranger. But I've got a responsibility to these people, and I have a job for you if you're up for it. Besides, I know you're tougher than you look. Yes, ma'am. I got so, a point in physics or from a purifier not far outside of town. We physical had a storm not long before you got here, and it must have damaged the fog condensers to protect the road to the purifier. I sent Howard Dunbar out to fix them. He was out there when the Meyer Larks hit us, and I'm I'm afraid they might have got him too. I was hoping you might go have a look. If the worst happened, maybe you could get those fog condensers back online. If you're up to it, just head south out of town. It's paying work, of course. I wouldn't ask a stranger to stick their neck out on our behalf unless I was willing to pay a fair share for it. All right, I'll head out there now. Good. Our water supply won't last much longer. Perfecto. Another quest. Might as well take it right now. 
Guns, guns, and more guns. Huh. The mainlander. Great. Fire your gun a few times and you think you're some sort of hero? This is our fight. Our island. Not yours. Bro. I am the one that saved all your asses. So, yeah. We've defended this damn dock from crabs and worse for months without you. Yeah, you helped. But we've paid our dues in blood and bullets. The day we rely on outsiders for our security is the day we're as good as dead. I still put myself in harm's way for you. Some gratitude would be nice. We've had some real pieces of work come through here. You've been... Uh, all right so far. Here, for your uh, help. So if you're here to buy some ordnance, do your business. Otherwise, take the first boat out of here before the children of Adam are worse get you. Okay. Show me what you got. Make it fast. Should buy a bit more of these guys. Be extra ready when, uh, I get one of these guns. Goes too fast. <laughs> you saw his face? He was like, I just gave him 150 bucks. Technically, what I gave him, three hundred dollars, might be one hundred and fifty bucks. Probably less than that. Might be a very small percentage. Really depends. Okay, so where am I heading right now? That's still Kitteridge Pass. Okay, I can go there. I do not mind going there. I wonder where I what I'll find though. Try not to die. Where's my friend, the long fellow? He's probably still getting drunk. Oh, I need some of the blight. Look at these mushrooms growing on pure rock. Gonna try to circumvent. So I don't know if I have the right to be here. Seems like they're not gonna stop me. Okay, they will stop me. So there's something I'm not understanding about what I'm supposed to do here. But I'll still go in. And before doing that, I'll put on my... rest of my armor. Because defense is important.
There's a massacre here. Ghouls, trapper. More ghouls. Okay, let's get this guy. Of course I missed. Okay. Quick reel. There you go. Oh, okay. Oh, right. Oh. Okay. I see. That was it. No. It's almost good. It's a feral ghoul roamer. Look in your head, bro. You know what I see? Nothing. Well, oh, there's a brain in there. Just violent and aggressive. I mean, arguably, the brain of my character is violent and aggressive. Making me no better than the feral ghouls. But ultimately, I have ethic, ethics of choice. Why am I still shooting with this gun? No, oh, whatever. That's the one I need. Weapons? Yeah. There you go. Harpoon gun. What is that? Let's try it. You think I can harvest the harpoon? Cause I don't got a lot. Oh man. I'll use them. Well, at least this guy, this guy knows how to shoot. Okay, let's get down. Which means going back out. Because I cleared it. Now I need to go back to the, the other map. I don't know if I need to uh, go for the boat. Let's see. Yeah, I can just do that. Awesome. I'll report the night race with a short loading screen. It's the dread of the loading screen which makes it so that like I think a lot of my choices is just choices in the game are just based upon how can I minimize loading screen.
Okay. Let's go see Riz. Riz? Whatever. Damn, that was a cool uh, location. Not very difficult, though. I think they were expecting me to go to Far Harbor far earlier. Haha. <laughs> Um, which means that, uh, yeah, like I received these quests, I'm trying to remember back, but I, like, probably level 20 something, and I'm not, a comp uh, I'm level 46 right now, so like, I'm not doing them in the exact order they were passed along to me. But I did because I don't want to go to Far Harbor too early. But uh, far be it from me. I didn't know that uh, it would uh, be so far along the level path that I would go to Far Harbor and accomplish this uh, mission. This far reaching miss mission. So what's up, Riss? Oh, finished or what? Oh damn, bro. We'll stop the institute for Maxon and for the Brotherhood. Yeah, yeah, whatever, bro. <laughs> you better Glad have, have you good news. Yes, sir. Up and I may start believing you got some real guts. Commonwealth is a big place in need of some serious exterminating. Whenever you're ready for another op, you know where to find me. I'm ready. Ready. Here's the latest target area. I don't want to see your face. Is it going to be in Far Harbor again? You know those sensitive plastic faces? They creep me the heck out. Oh, I need this. That thing's three times as old as I am. I'll go do a drop in the sanctuary. Just to keep things light, and then I'll go do that, and then I'll go back to Far Harbor. The plan is stitching itself quite along. Along quite nicely, as it were. L'inflexion décisive. So I gotta go there. Damn, Macready's over there. Ah, what do I do? What do? Sanctuary. Too many things to do. That's the that's the problem of uh, being level forty six. All these locations found. And you're like, okay, so I have any contingencies on their locality? Well, as a minute man. <laughs> yes, sir, you do. So, uh, in that sense, <laughs> you know, what's funny is that the there's a false sense of pressing this, but there's also a real sense of pressing this. If you don't do a mission quick enough then you'll uh, lose and the colony will suffer the consequences of you not helping so having said this go check that out i can do that check it yeah. out right heads up no. give me your stuff bro There you go. That's a lot of good stuff. Nope. Wood. Shipment of wood. There's too much stuff in there. <laughs> there you go. Okay. 
Let's see if I can upgrade. I feel like automatic is not the best one yet. Yeah, definitely. Exceptional damage, more sensitive trigger, better rate of fire, or improved damage and rate of fire, inferior range. Look at the rate of fire. That's, yeah, that's really high. I wonder which one's better. Price wise. Damn. <laughs> yeah. I think we'll trust the, the gun that. Of course, we need the long ported barrel. I'm not doing it on the right one. Oh man. What a shame. But that one already has everything. Oh, he has a powerful receiver though. <laughs> That's the one we need. Okay. Everything else is... Well, obviously this one. <laughs> no recon scope. Damn, I was so close to having enough to put the suppressor. Like obviously that's what that's what I need. Knight's demise. Yeah. Okay. More aluminum. Okay. Did I show you guys the bar? Let's go take a look at the bar. A lot of people at the bar. Yeah. <laughs> yes, ma'am. But it's something. Sir, welcome back, sir. I do hope you were able to find some assistance in Tonka. What's up, long follow? Not too bad, yeah. Oh, what what are your friends? New friends, bro. I made a few new friends. Coswood. My good friend. <laughs> he sounded salty. <laughs> okay, yeah. Not too bad, eh? Oh, what happened to his face? It's not a thermometer. I could I could sleep. Good stuff. Damn. Okay, beautiful. I gotta go do this one. Which is in the Commonwealth. Let's go back. There's gonna be mines there, as far as I remember. Hey, no mines. Let's get in. The failure of historicism. You guys know about historicism? 
like what is the history in the post-apocalyptic world of Fallout? You know, the the remnants of the past civilization being shown to us, America, science and the technology partnering up towards nuclear means. Them. Comet rifle. That's not too bad. Here you go. Okay. Not too bad. Before the war, looks like. I need the globe, I need a lamp, I need the coffee cups. I need the fans, I need the desk. I need the rest. My head low. And behold, we have found a sleeping bag. We have found the password and some technical documents to be returned to brother. Whatever his name was. From the Brotherhood. Here you go. Let's go to the training yard. See what happens there. People train, presumably. You know, they do push-ups. They shoot targets. They train in military fashion. And you gotta wonder, you know, like... The world that Fallout is presenting... Seems to have been caused... By the relationship between technology development... Science and the military development. Technological advancement as well. And our uh, prioritization of web arms development and uh, and selling. Or what? Oh, it's a shotgun. <laughs> no, that's funny. There you go. I think I shot my friend in the head. It's no good. Here you go, bro. Sorry for the inconvenience. Let's get in. Wirkum Susamen Hang.
There you go. It's time for a drink, you say. It's time to test that new pistol. <laughs> okay, I see what they mean by automatic. I am now aware. That's not too bad. Depends on uh, the amount of AP is little too. Oh, he was waiting for me. Could not have escaped his irradiated grasp. Okay. My buddy Longfellow fell to the bottom. It's real troublesome to see him there. Wait. Let's shoot him in the head. There you go, Longfellow. We are here now. Seems like we cleared most of it. Maybe the turrets are in, are in need of uh, being cleared internally, though. Seems like we are good to go. Let's get in there. Oh. Yeah. It's not too bad with that. Yeah, he's just sleeping. <laughs> I shoot his leg uh, three times, then uh, one time. There you go. That's how you do it. You wanna take a nap? No time for naps here. Beautiful. Now I'm taking a nap. But uh, before doing that, let us do this. And then, since it's 5 p.m., just a quick nap to 6 p.m. With a bit of a irradiated blood on the bed. Beautiful. Mission accomplished. No problem in sight. The glowing one was in fact the sleeping one. And uh, when he was awoken by bullets in his legs, he was like, that doesn't tickle. Go back to the Cambridge Police Station. I I don't want to say it, but it seems like we're working as like uh, the police. Which, I mean, the, yeah, the most scary things are feral ghouls. That's for sure. Like people eating people, or people that used to be people that are eating people now, and then become like senseless and mindless and just violent. Anyway, like if they attack you first. Then, uh, yeah, like, I mean, that's fair. But then if the location should be used to their proper purpose, you know. I mean, such is the, the, the idea behind the community building. 
And so if it's not used to like its appropriate purpose, then you're just losing effective infrastructure and structure resource. Which is not to be ignored. Because a concrete realization is there. You only have to look at uh, metropolises or uh, cosmopolitan areas with high-rises to see that we've amassed great amounts of you better have some good news. concrete material in order to achieve these great feats of engineering and art. Architecture. Affirmative. Looks like I got my surprise for the day. Recon's always coming in. If you're interested in heading out on another mission, you let me know. Anytime. Of course, bro. I'm ready. Good. Here's the latest target area. I don't want to see your face until that place is clear. Yes, sir. That's a deal. Oh, I've been there. They say it's a sin, eh? To the Lord. Something like that. And then you think about it, then you're like, well, if it is a lie or a sin, and sin is lying, or lying is a sin, more appropriately. Um, and then hubris is also a sin, or it's closer to being a sin. Because it leads to the miss, uh, the the improper measurement of one's capacity versus what they think of themselves. Wait, why vault the? Uh... Wait, now I'm confused. But I had to go to Hubris Comics. Clicking too fast. Clear out Ubis, Ubris Comics. Ubiquitous Ubris Comics. Oh, them. Or these fellas. Okay. Raiders, eh? Okay, I think I'll uh, get to the big guns. This one should get up soon enough. Okay, okay, Longfellow. Let's go, bro. Tactical advances in the left arm. Okay. I think they really wanted me to succeed. Appreciate it. Damn. It's not too bad. Already too heavy though. Come here, long fellow. Where's he at? I need you here, friend. Okay. I'll do something else for now.
Yeah, well, I can't find you, man. So. Re regardless of your judgment. Okay. There's one on the roof or something. Longfellow was just gone. Or was he just following me? Oh, okay. Here you are. Heads up. Hmm? Okay. Okay. Here it is. Time to go into Hubris Comics. Where there is no end to the self and the personality. The capacity and the reason to be what needs to be Okay. There's definitely one there. Taken care of. Okay, so uh, let's end it there. It's going to be a bit longer than normal. But uh, I think uh, we can know this for now. And I'll keep the videos to uh, 40 minutes or so closer for the next ones. So... Please follow, like, and subscribe, and uh, I'll continue doing this.